I have been fortunate enough to be able to travel and gone to Gordon Ramsay's various restaurants, a number of them in Vegas, and even to his original restaurant out in London, his first one. And I have to admit, they are extremely pricey for the most part. Even his humble hamburger place in uh, Vegas is pretty, still pretty expensive. But I say most of them are probably well worth the price. And one of his signature dish is the beef Wellington. And it's well known. It's very rich. It's very luxurious. But I decided to make a play on it today. Making, uh, taking the inspiration of another dish, chicken cordon bleu, which is basically mozzarella or a cheese stuffed in ham and stuffed inside a chicken. So I decided to take the interior to be that, uh, except I use a prosciutto, flattened chicken breast, and dry uh, mozzarella to prevent it from being too wet and damaging the puff pastry. When you roll up the meat, the prosciutto's fat does kind of melt so it's a good idea to actually stick it into the refrigerator for a little bit to let it solidify and become like more firm and easier to roll into the puff pastry itself to make it nice and tight so it is very important for this to be tight so it doesn't kind of steam each other because then they just have soggy puff pastry and that's no fun but to be honest with you, I think I just realistically like meat rolled into puff pastry because puff pastry is like a croissant. It's buttery, it's flaky, it's crispy, and it's just delicious. So I rolled it all together, cut off the excess, gave it a nice egg wash, put a couple of slits in it for just de de decoration. And I stuck in uh, an oven. I did it in this episode, I did it for 30 minutes, but realistically, I think you could get away with 20. Uh, 30 minutes was a little too long. The bottom got a little burnt. I made a, my own version of a hollandaise sauce or a bernaise sauce. And I cheated like there's no tomorrow. And I did cook it a little longer than I should have, which made it a little thicker. But it's okay because I kind of want it more like a dipping sauce for the chicken. And I made a very simple salad on the side to help cut uh, some of the richness of this meal. So if you like this episode, please like and subscribe and enjoy.